following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood, to a degenerate, to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. The franchise is here. An all-time great in the absolute prime of his career. You know, I consider myself a part of the C-Nation, but there are definitely folks who root against the franchise of WWE. Well, the thing is, true greatness is rarely recognized in its time. Cena continues to vindicate himself. Title reign after title reign. Main event after main event. Classic after classic. Speaking of classics, I think we're going to see yet another one from Big Match John. Introducing the challenger from British Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H. And his opponent from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, John C. Social media is buzzing, as it always is, when this title is defended. And tonight, it may well be John Cena's turn to play the game as he squares off with Triple H. We don't see Triple H lace him up unless it's for the biggest match around. And there aren't many bigger 
than Big Match John. Cena is used to rising above and winning, but it's been a long time since he faced Triple H. You have to wonder if he's truly ready for the test that awaits him. for the defending champion. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Devastating elbow. Boom, slam. With authority. There's a fisherman suplex. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. Blast off. Whoa, what a landing. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Both of these men are very comfortable in a long match. What differentiates them, I think, is that Triple H is a bit more surgical in his thinking. Cena uses his entire body as a weapon. Triple H likes to take that weapon apart. Cena needs to overwhelm him and keep that proverbial weapon in one piece. He gets back into the ring. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great... How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. What a press slam. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Drop the piercing. Oh, driving the elbow. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Switching it right into an arm drag. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Triple H getting dismantled here. Cena doing more than playing the game. He looks like he's getting ready to win. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Bang! Time to play the game. Dominating shoulder tackle. Constant pressure being put on by Cena. Triple H needs to dig deep like he's done so often before. Ah, uh, John Cena has him where he wants him. You can't see me. This is vintage Cena. What a spot. Going for a pin for the championship. Manages to escape before the three count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Oh, knee drop. Woo. The champ not looking great right now. Triple H isn't messing around. The King of Kings is out to do damage. Incoming. Good Lord. Taking flight. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Crank in the head. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Toss back into the ring. 
Triple H about to bring the hammer down on Cena. Both arms hooked. Pedigree. We can have a new champion. That's got to be it. Two. Shoulder up. Still holding on to the title. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. And you can see the gears in Triple H's head turning as he's racking his brain for a new scheme to get the win here. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Yeah, Hunter looking like he's living rent-free in Big Match John's head. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Working on the leg. Cena's looking weak in the knees, could spell trouble. Look glazed over. Pin. Got it. New champion. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion Triple H. An exciting match that concludes with a title changing hands. Talk about history in the making. This is literally one for the history books. And we got to witness it up close and personal. Stop making this about you, Saxton. This is about...